What you guys, today we're taking a look at five reasons why you need a NAS at home. Now, a lot of people don't want to buy NASs because they're expensive, but if you look here at the TerraMaster F2422, it has quite a good specification. It's compatible with all different types of drives, and it's got plenty of room for storage. And it's only a two-bay NAS, but you can add other drives to it using the USB ports in the back. This is everything you can expect to get inside the kit. It's got everything you need here to get up and running. You've got your user manual, your screws, your ethernet cable, your screwdriver, your power cable, and the unit itself. On the back of the unit, we've got a HDMI port, which is very useful to have on a device like this. It means you could plug this straight into a TV and broadcast your Plex movies straight to your TV from the NAS. We also have two USB 3.0 ports on here, which means you can extend your storage by plugging in external storage into these USB ports and expanding the amount of storage you have. And this will also be used in RAID as well. We have two RJ45 1 gigabit Ethernet ports on here, and we also have the 10 gigabit Ethernet port, which gives us 10 times the bandwidth of a standard 1 gigabit Ethernet port. And this will significantly improve overall network performance and efficiency. You've got your power input here, and then we also have our fan. This is a smart fan. It runs super quiet, and you can change the speed from high speed, middle speed, and low speed on the settings inside of the actual NAS there. We have all our LED lights here, and our power button. The actual NAS drive itself does actually accept 3.5 inch, 2.5 inch hard drives and 2.5 inch SATA drives. These can be raided from RAID 0 to RAID 1 to JBOD and also as a single uh, sort of setup. The little hard drive trays are made of plastic, as you can see here. It supports hard drives up to 36 terabytes. That would be 18 terabytes times 2. This does have a quad core 1.5 gigahertz processor in here, which is the Intel Celeron J3455. And that's got a maximum boost up to 2.3 gigahertz. It has a system memory of four gigabytes and it can have a maximum supported memory of eight gigabytes. That will be four gigabytes and four gigabytes. Now for hard drives, you definitely want to be using either Western Digital Reds, NAS drives, or you can use the Iron Wolf from Seagate. Either one of these are pretty good. Now I've already got an older TerraMaster which is an F2220 and what I'm going to do here is use these drives which were from there. Now the good thing is with TerraMaster as well is you can plug them from the old drive into this and they should work perfectly fine and it should upgrade to the newer system and all you need to do is screw your drives into the caddy here and then slot them into the actual unit. Now push them in all the way up the top and then down the bottom here you'll see this big gray area. Just push your thumb on there to push it all the way home and then just click it into position like so. Now this does support uh, Windows, Mac OS and Linux as well. So either of these operating systems you can use on here. So I've got the two drives in position and what we're gonna do is power it all up and we're gonna go to our page where we can uh, see all working. Now, if you have to set yours up, it's pretty straightforward. You can just go through the setup process. I've made videos on this before. But if you want to look at the bottom part, this is what it looks like on the bottom. This is where the actual unit uh, cools itself at the bottom and at the back where it's uh, cooling the system down inside. It runs pretty quiet. But once you get onto their uh, page, the startup page, you'll see something like this, quick installation guide. You'll need to choose what model do you have here. So I have the F2 for Two, two, and then you can put the number of drive bays in here, which this one has two. Put in your email address and choose the product category, which but this one is a TNAS on here. Now, if you've had to do the installation process, you should see something looking like this now, and this is our actual NAS drive here. Now, because mine's already set up, I don't need to do any sort of configuration, but if you do want to see a configuration video, then let me know in the comments section below, and I'll make another video showing you how to set all this up as well. So let's take a look at some of the features that this NAS drive has to offer. And then we'll also take a look at five reasons why you need a NAS drive in 2022. So first up, access data remotely. You can access all of your data remotely using this NAS drive here. You can set this up so if you're in another part of the world or you're at work and you want to access your drive, you can do as well. Now, another good reason to have a NAS drive is to increase your storage around your home. If you have many devices, 
everyone can back up to the NAS drive, which is good. You can set up different accounts for those people to back up to your NAS drive. Now, this unit does have a very useful help area, which helps you set up your device. If you've never used the NAS drive before, you can go into the TOS help, and basically this will give you a breakdown of exactly what to do and how to use it. You can see here, there's plenty of stuff in here about the control panel, about privileges, and about setting up user accounts, user groups, shared folders. Uh, everything is in here written out, so you don't need to uh, go online and look at videos and things like that. You can see it all here, and it all tells you exactly what to do and what it actually does. So another good thing is data backup and redundancy. If you need to back up data, you can back up using their backup uh, feature here. And basically, you can back up all of your phones and your devices to this uh, NAS drive and keep all your data safe. The good thing about it is the redundancy part means that if any of those drives fails, all your data is safe. Another plus point is the data is stored in your home. So looking at the control panel here, we've got users, user groups, shared folders. It's all nicely laid out here, which makes it very easy to understand. You've got your external storage here, your other virtual disks. You can set up pretty much anything you want here. If you want to look at the system information, you can click on this and look at hardware information. And you can also look at system logs. And you've got update and recovery here. You can see four cores, four threads. It gives you the temperature of the CPU here, running nice and cool, as you can see. And again, you can change, change the fan speed here. And you can see the actual uh, CPU that's used on this unit as well. And the NAS drive itself runs pretty quiet. It's not that noisy, and it does have the ability to turn the fan speed down if you want to turn it down a little bit. You've got plenty of options in here to set up all of your needs that you want from here. You can stream movies from your home. You can stream 4K movies on here. It does have support for 4K movies. You can also go into applications and install applications on here. There's plenty of applications for you to dig into there let's have a look here at what we've got here and uh, this is uh, some of them here which is very very useful you've got an alternative to plex there which is your emby uh, server and also you've got itunes server here you can uh, set up jamula and you can set up on here php bb uh, php my admin plex media server for all your movie needs Whatever you want to set up on here, you can do. You can back up your phone to here. You can set up picture libraries. You can do all sorts of stuff on this uh, NAS drive, just like you can on any uh, big major branded uh, type of NAS drives out there. You know which ones I mean. But the good thing about these ones is they're much more affordable. So taking a look at the file management, uh, you can see here we've got this is where you would set up all your admin accounts, your your user accounts and things like that. You can set all this up inside here. Now, the good thing about having an as it's not just about having access to it on your local network. You can share your data to anyone anywhere. And that is another good reason to have it. For instance, if you wanted to share your phone pictures and they're stored on your NAS drive, you could set up a picture gallery on here and share that with someone somewhere else in another house, or maybe you want to let them stream movies from there. You can do as well by using this NAS drive. So sharing data to anyone anywhere is another good reason to have a NAS drive in your home. Now, if you want to know more about the TerraMaster F2422, then I'll leave the link in the video description. Now, you may be wondering about what the warranty is like and the reliability is like on a brand that you might not have heard of. You've heard of all the more common brands out there, but you might not have heard of TerraMaster. Well, I've used TerraMaster for quite a few years and I've had no problems with it whatsoever. It still works as well as it did the first time I've set it up. And you can go back and check my previous videos on that. And that was a few years ago and it's still working perfectly fine. So these are some of the things that you can do with your uh, NAS drive. If you're looking to buy a NAS drive, there's plenty of things you can do with them. They're very, very useful. And probably the last good reason I want to talk about is streaming your videos around your home or even outside of your home. Using one of these media platforms here, you can stream 4K HD video. It also supports 4K transcoding, which supports H.264 and H.265 8-bit uh, 30 frames per second transcoding streaming for this device. 
and that means you can stream to a mobile phone, a tablet, or your PC or your TV. It does come with a two-year warranty, and the price is not too bad as well. You can see here $379.99. You may be able to find cheaper prices if you look around. I'll leave all the links and information in the video description if you are interested in purchasing yourself a NAS drive just like this one. Anyway, that is the TerraMaster F2422. I'll probably be giving this away on our Discord server at some point. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I shall see you again real soon. Bye for now. <laughs>